bake some graham crackers. Today we're making graham crackers from scratch. Normally graham crackers are made with graham flour, which is kind of like a whole wheat type of a flour. So if you've got whole wheat flour, you can definitely use it in these crackers, which are kind of like a cookie. <laughs> um, but I don't have whole wheat flour. So in here I have three quarters of a cup of regular flour. And then to up that whole wheat factor, I'm adding one quarter a cup of quick oats into there. But like I said, you can definitely use whole wheat flour for this, or if you don't have that, just use regular flour. They're just not gonna come out quite as dark and a little different flavor, but they're gonna be delicious. And then tomorrow I'm gonna use them to make something even more spectacular. <laughs> so um, with that, I'm gonna add the rest of my dry ingredients. So I've got half a cup of brown sugar, I've got one teaspoon of cinnamon, which is kind of the flavor of a graham cracker. Then I've got half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. And we'll just toss that together to make sure everything's mixed in. And then we're gonna make this kind of like a pie dough where we're gonna rub the butter into the dry ingredients and then we'll add our liquids after. But unlike a pie dough, we don't need to worry about having big chunks of butter. We want it all blended in there because any big chunks of butter are probably gonna just melt out when we bake them. Amazing, so that's all mixed in there. I'm gonna grab one quarter of a cup of softened butter and then I'm just gonna use my hands to pinch and rub that butter in until it's fully mixed in and it looks kind of like sand. So that's gonna take me a few minutes. I'm just grabbing, pinching, and rubbing. However it gets in there is great. So I'll mix that in and be right back. So all of our butter is mixed in there. You can see it kind of looks like sand, but there's no big chunks of butter. Perfect. So now we're gonna add our wet ingredients. So I've got one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is just artificial vanilla, but if you don't have any vanilla, you can leave it out. If you have the good stuff, use that. And then I also have two tablespoons of honey and two tablespoons of milk. If you don't have honey, you can also use corn syrup, um, but it's just not gonna have quite the same flavor as a graham cracker. Lovely, so I'm just gonna stir that in until it's combined. So I've got all of the liquid ingredients mixed in. It's a, just a sticky dough ball kind of in there. And now we're gonna roll it out in between two pieces of parchment paper. So this is gonna let us get a nice um, thin, even cookie. Then we'll chill it and then we can cut it out from that so it won't be so sticky. So I'm just gonna plop the dough onto one piece and then squash the parchment on top, press it down as much as you can, and then use your rolling pin or a wine bottle, whatever you've got, to roll it out. And this way, since it's so sticky, we don't have to worry about it sticking to everything, um, and we can just peel the parchment off after it's hardened. So we want these to kind of be about one quarter of an inch thick, just check it, looks pretty good. Ideally, if you wanna make them into the squares like a traditional graham cracker, um, try to roll it into a rectangle. I'm going to be making mine into circles. Maybe I'll cut a few squares just for the heck of it. Um, but for our purposes for tomorrow's exciting cookie treats. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this onto a baking tray, put it in my fridge for about half an hour or so, or longer if you have other things to do. And then we'll let it chill so we can peel off the top and cut out our cookies. So our cookie dough is all chilled and firm. So now we can just peel off other paper. Look at this smooth surface we've created. Oh, sorry, oh, I ripped it, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put that parchment back onto my tray piece it together. <laughs> and then like I said, I'm gonna cut out circles. 
If you do want a regular graham cracker shape, just use your pizza cutter um, and cut out squares and then you can dock it with a fork or a skewer to give it that look like a one from the box. Um, but I'm just gonna use this glass because I don't have a cookie cutter and cut out circles. And you just wanna maximize the amount of circles you get. So put them as close together as possible. I'm just gonna keep cutting these um, and then we'll pop them on our tray. So all of my circles are cut out. I'm just gonna um, peel them off the paper and pop them onto this tray um, and then we'll dock them with our fork. So since the dough is hard, you can kind of um, just peel them off basically and stack them on there. Or if you wanna slide a knife or an offset spatula underneath, that works too. So I'll just pop those all onto the tray and then we'll get them baking. So I've got all of our rounds on the tray. I have all the scraps of dough, just I squish them back into a ball. I'm just going to um, put them into the parchment and roll them out again. This time I'll do them into rectangles because I, I don't need any more circles. Um, but I'll just pop this back in the fridge while I get the other ones ready and then I can quickly cut them out and pop them in the oven after these ones are baked. So all of our circles are on our tray ready to go in the oven. I'm just going to dock them a little bit with a fork. So just poke a couple holes in there. This will help them stay flat um, and not get air bubbles in them when they bake. You can make them in a nice pattern or just randomly all over <laughs> like I'm going to do. Perfect, so these are ready to go. I have my oven preheated to 350. Since they're so thin, they're not gonna take very long, probably five to 10 minutes um, until they're lightly golden on the outside. Ta-da! Our graham crackers are all baked. So you can tell they've turned this nice golden color. These ones took about nine and a half minutes. Um, I re-rolled my other dough into squares and they took 10 minutes. Uh, but basically you just want them to be a nice golden color. Um, I can pull it off the tray now. They're a bit softer than the kind you get in a bag because obviously those ones have been sitting on a shelf for a while. Um, but you can just eat these, make some s'mores with them use them as a base on something, <laughs> what we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, and otherwise just keep them in a sealed container. They'll last for a few days, or you can also pop them into the freezer and they'll last even longer. So these babies are done. Get excited for tomorrow. We're gonna make something fun and delicious um, using these as our base. Uh, so I'll see you then. Have an amazing day.